All right, so after seven months of waiting, the time has finally come to fill this void. Let's unbox an engine. So this thing is very much a work of art. It almost looks too pretty to run on the truck. I think I may have to just run it without the hood on just so I can look at this thing all the time. So this is the Kill Devil Diesel Level 2 ready to run engine. And I'll go through kind of what it comes with. But this is how it showed up created up like this, we unboxed it, and I literally can't just, I can't stop walking around looking at it. And along with the engine, you get all the, the gaskets required. They sent me a t-shirt, and you get a booklet here that kind of goes through um, everything on the engine, I'll sit through and read this thing kind of in detail. And then this is for the transmission that I'll show you in just a second. And then a bunch of stickers and then some break-in procedures. And also got the regulated return kit. So I'm going to do the fuel regulated return kit uh, on this engine as well. So there it is. About time to start swapping pulleys and stuff over okay in addition in addition to the engine we've got the twisted diesel level 3 transmission that came in with it as well so what the first thing I noticed obviously besides the color is the oil pan is massive and it's got a heat sink on it as well um, you compare that oil pan with this oil pan on the stock transmission. It's a massive difference. So, transmission, I'll have to swap the sensors over to this guy. And then the torque converter, and it came with, with the bolts for it as well. So there we go, let's start swapping parts onto this new engine and get this thing prepped to be put in. So I think I'm gonna start with swapping pulleys over from the old engine. I will swap the pulleys over, <clears throat> excuse me. And I've got a brand new power steering pump and a brand new AC compressor. So I'm not gonna swap these old ones. I will have to swap the pulley, but I've got new, new of those. Um, I am reusing the original main harness. I did clean it up and uh, wrap all the wires and all that stuff the other day so that's ready to go um the injector harness down here i've actually got a new injector harness so all the whole entire fuel injection harness is going to be brand new i've got that right here in the box so new injector harness original main wiring harness swap the pulleys um power steering ac compressor intake elbow um, we should be off to the races here pretty soon yep on the top on this side no is oh. it over there where does it go <laughs>
but little by little we're getting things transferred over here um went ahead and started putting in the lines for the regulated return so since they're in the back of the motor got those plumbed in back here and the wire run it'll go up to the regulator that's mounted up by the master cylinder and what else back here oh i had to pull the uh the up pipes and stuff off just to be able to get to this the up pipe was right here in front of it so that's on both sides so the up pipes are off but that's going in those are in i got the wiring harnesses laying on it right now starting to get all these kind of pieces um the coolant the fuel lines from the front got to get all those off and uh, get those swapped over and then uh, these these lifting points we get those swapped over and then that's about it little miscellaneous things that guy i gotta get the dipstick and then we should be good she's coming along few of these bolts just do not want to come out. It's almost like they've been in here for a while. We'll get them. so I ended up switching colors this is what I originally did and that was this duplicolor metal cast turns out it's just a little too maroon kind of color so I went with this Chrysler red um, and that's what this is so you can kind of see the difference there um, so I'm going to sand down this darker one in my hand and repaint both of them this color. That's kind of the color I had envisioned for the intercooler pipes. turbo um, probably can't get it in the truck with the turbo on there anyway so I probably was going to, have to pull it but it's just gonna make running this harness so much easier as I could not get the harness underneath the turbo and the oil line and all that stuff so like I said before the turbo is probably going to, to come out anyway to be put in the truck so it's it's out let me run this wiring harness real quick and and we're about 80% there All right, guys, I should have done this when the engine first arrived. It'd be easier to see everything, but I figured I'd at least step through the specs of this Kill Devil Diesel Level 2 engine and what I've got on here prior to throwing it in the truck. So it's the Kill Devil Diesel Level 2 complete engine. It's got the, the Warren Diesel 190-30 injectors, 100% uh, new. I've got the O-Dog S3R intake manifold, America. Um, it does have the 
the billet water pump. It has the KC Stage 2 Turbo, which I've got off to get ready to install. So KC Stage 2 Turbo. Um, what else? It does have the ARP 625 head studs. And the, the heads are ringed. Um, that's, that's the big major specs. I will put a link in the description uh, for the both the engine and the transmission. But uh, the only thing we have left here, I've got to pull the, the fuel lines off of here. Um, and then just the starter, this thing's ready to go in. So stay tuned to the next video, guys. The next video will be the actual install into the excursion. Hopefully get this thing fired up.